We've known for a long time that viruses can activate autoimmune conditions, and this is because of the pathways that they impact. So there's a couple things that EBV does that's unique. So once it reactivates, it kind of causes a snowball effect because it decreases the body's own capabilities of clearing out reactive oxygenation species. And then it also increases the virus itself being reactivated creates more oxidative stress. So it kind of is this snowball and then it's, you know, depending on how long you've had it, it can be harder to get it under control. And when it's doing that, um, it affects the NF kappa B pathways, which are associated with a lot of autoimmune conditions and cancer. Um, and the jack stat pathway is really associated with cancer. So these are pathways that affect how our cells develop and proliferate and EBV causes them to operate in a way that they weren't supposed to, which is why it's more associated with these autoimmune conditions. Um, the problem is that sometimes, like if you look in the research, it's like, oh, EBV and lupus, EBV and rheumatoid arthritis, it's all there. So then we get into this bubble of EBV causes all autoimmune conditions. And it's like, no, what caused the oxidative stress that ticked off EBV that then really started a fire. So yes, we have to deal with the EBV, but we have to deal with the other things.